Okay, um, hi, this is like a video tutorial on how to create stencils um, from an image. Um, I'll be working on a three layer stencil using three colours, um, but I'm sure you can find tutorials for simpler two colour stencils. So I'll be starting off with um, a three layer stencil. Okay, so um, I'll just show you kind of this kind of things that you'll end up with when you do your stencils. Um, here's one for a friend with the, the black, the darker pink and the light pink. So that's the kind of thing you finish with. Um, so first of all, you want to download this application here, GIMP. Uh, unfortunately, I've read the name. Um, but once you've downloaded that, um, you're going to get yourself a picture. Now I've chosen Tiger, you can choose any image you want. Um, but I just chose a Tiger because do you know? <laughs> I like tigers. So um, first of all you want to go to the layer and duplicate the layer. Um, so you've got your two layers and uh, you want to create a black and white image with two colours that you can work with. Let's go to colours, threshold and um, you can look about with a slider until you think you've got a colour you're happy with. Now first of all you want to start off with slightly darker than normal so you have more dark than a uh, light so I'm, I'm happy with that um, so once you've got your one layer with the threshold up and a darker colour um, you want to choose a colour scheme um, I think I'll probably do, I don't know, green for this one so select by colour um, and select the dark sections of your picture and uh, change your colour to a dark, quite dark colour um, and then simply you can uh, fill fill your dark sections oops, sorry about that uh, fill with foreground colour, so you go to edit fill with foreground colour so you finish that layer and you can select select none so you move on to your second layer and um, you go to colours, threshold, except this one you make, I want to turn that off first, um, this one you make slightly lighter than usual and then as you did before, select by colour, select the white and this time when you go to choose your colour, um, make it quite a bit lighter so you've got a lighter colour and then again go to edit fill with the colour, select none and then you go up to mode when you've got your two, layer, your two images and um, sorry I ignore that uh, and then create a mask and add a layer mask and put transparency on then to multiply then take the mask off so I'll go over what I did again um, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this but I uh, went to layer mask and added a layer mask black fill transparency onto the, the image um, then what I did was I went to normal multiply then back to layer remove the mask and uh, there's your stencil. Um, now you can either print it like that or if you want to save ink which is what I usually do you can then go to colours desaturate um, sorry hang on oh, sorry yeah and uh, desaturate both layers, that was a mistake I made there and then it prints out in a grey and greys and blacks so you're not using as much colour ink and this is also helpful if you've got a um, a black and white printer because you can do this easily um, so there's your 3 wear stencil and uh, I'm sure you'll find tons of tutorials on how to cut out and spray your stencils but um, if you're having difficulty finding them uh, 
um, leave me a comment and I'll uh, try and get back to you and you may post, post a new tutorial. So, um, yeah, there's your Sailor stencil. My life be like. Yeah. My life be like.